This is my 26 nanofarad capacitor bank that I built for my Tesla coil. And I thought I would break it in by charging up to 20,000 volts and blowing up some CDs with it. And to do that, I got a Bariac going to a neon sign transformer. And here is a series of uh, high voltage microwave oven diodes going to a voltage divider that I use to step down the voltage so that I can read it on this 5,000 volt electrostatic voltmeter. Um, so when it gets up to 5,000 on the voltmeter, it'll actually be 20,000. And then from there, we just go to my capacitor bank with the with the pizza the pizza pan on top and the CDs. And attached to the bottom plate is the screwdriver here with an extended plastic insulating handle, so to make sure I don't kill myself. So I'm going to charge it up. go. Turn it off. One more shock, and it's discharged. And that is how you erase a CD with 20,000 volts. And here's some others that I did earlier. I didn't totally obliterate them, but I made them look more like Swiss cheese. And I noticed the difference. You can see these two on the left are CDRs and they've got this dark brown singeing when they when they get zapped whereas the other two these are just regular manufactured CDs or CD-ROMs that you get with software on them and you can see they're very very clean it's almost entirely clear the that the, the metal coating just blows off and doesn't burn anything and I also notice with DVDs that um, it doesn't work at all. Maybe it'll work with higher voltage, but with DVDs or DVD-Rs, um, I was unable to get any effect.